Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. A few months ago, I did a review on the fuel keg by Mr. Heater. I got a lot of feedback on that video, and today we're going to address the six main concerns that you guys brought up in the comments section of that video. And at the end of the video, we're going to refill the tank one more time to see how long it takes. So stay tuned. Now, one of the main concerns I saw while scrolling through the comments section was concern about the purge valve on this unit and what would happen if somebody accidentally turned it. In fact, my favorite comment regarding that came from somebody with the screen name Richard Harris 5819 who said, Some dolt going to use this in a tent or ice hunt and bump the purge valve and go boom. No more Uncle Eddie. Now as funny as that is, you guys have absolutely nothing to worry about when it comes to the purge valve on this unit. The vapors and propane can only be released with the purge valve when this unit is connected to the refill kit. If it's not connected to the refill kit, vapors and propane cannot come out. Period. If you look closely, there's a pin on top of the refill kit, and that pin has to go into the top of the fuel keg and press down on a small circular valve inside of it. Only when this pin is pressing down on that valve can vapor or propane escape while turning the purge valve. As you can see in the video, simply turning the purge valve while it's not attached to anything does absolutely nothing. Even when the fuel keg is connected to the portable buddy heater, as it is here, you can see turning the purge valve does absolutely nothing. Again, the only time propane and vapors will be released from this is when it's connected to the propane cylinder refill kit. Now probably the number one thing I got ripped on in that video when reading through the comments section was, during my video I said that if you turn this purge valve, you're releasing air. And that is not the case. I know that's not the case. That's just what I said in the video. Guys, when you turn this purge valve, you are releasing vapors into the air. And that's why it is so important to do this outside, not in your garage. You want to get outside in a well-ventilated area because these vapors are in the air. You want to get away from any kind of flame, anything that could start a fire, okay? So again, you guys are correct. Anyone who commented on that was correct. That is not air coming out. That is vapor. Please do this outside. Please do this away from flames. Don't be lighting a cigarette while you're filling this up, okay? Now another thing brought up in the video and quite frequently actually was, why don't you just buy a cheap five to $10 adapter valve and refill the Coleman's? Why spend $50 on this kit? Well, guess what guys? I do have a cheap refill adapter and I do refill the Coleman tanks. But the reason I love the fuel keg so much it is so much quicker, so much easier, and so much more convenient than constantly refilling these Coleman's. I have nothing against the Coleman tanks. I just don't always have the time to fill them. Now the fourth question or concern that came up during the video was, can you use this refill kit to fill up one of these green Coleman's? And the answer simply guys is no, it's not gonna work. Because like I mentioned, this thing has a small pin on the refill kit. And because that pin is there, you cannot get this refill kit to screw onto the top of one of these green Coleman tanks. It will not work. And likewise, guys, some of you guys ask, can I use the adapter I already have to fill up one of these fuel kegs? And again, the answer is no, because of that pin system that's required to go into the top of the fuel keg. So again, guys, no, you cannot use your old refill valve to fill up the new fuel keg. And likewise, you can't use the new refill kit from the fuel keg to fill up your old Coleman's. They're not interchangeable. You cannot do that. Now the fifth main concern or question I had in the comments section of the video, actually probably the one I got the most comments on were, why don't you just buy an adapter for a 20 pound tank and hook it up to the heater? It works way better that way. Well, to answer that question, I do have one of those adapters and I do use 20 pound tanks from time to time, such as when I'm hunting or something like that. But guys, there are times that I want to travel light, especially when I'm ice fishing. I don't want to carry around a 20 pound tank in my jet sled. I got enough stuff in there as it is. Also, for you guys and girls that are going backpacking out in the country, do you guys really want to carry around a 20-pound tank in your backpack? Of course not. There are definitely a time and a place for 20-pound tanks, but there's also a time and a place for one-pounders. They're out there for a reason. And the sixth and final concern I want to talk about before I show you guys how quickly this fuel keg can be filled up is, a lot of you guys said I should absolutely never be filling up these green Coleman propane tanks. Some of you guys even sent me some links to another YouTube video where that YouTuber ended up cutting open a couple different types of one pound canisters. And I'll admit, it was very eye-opening. However, I personally have never had an issue refilling these green Coleman tanks. I've never met anyone that had an issue refilling them. The one thing I will say is, if you choose to refill your Coleman tanks, do not just use the cap that comes with them, the little, you know, plastic cap. It's a piece of garbage, okay? You're going to want to get one of these brass caps that go on the top of it. 
they have that little rubber inside of it. That way, say there is some kind of leak in the top from refilling these over and over again. If there is some kind of leak, this brass cap is going to stop that leak right in its tracks, okay? I would never refill these without having the brass caps that go along with them. If you want, I'll leave a link in the description below for these caps. They're really cheap. All right, guys, so let's head outside real quick. Let's refill one of these fuel kegs one more time and see how long it takes. All right, guys, we are outside now. We're in a well-ventilated area away from any open flames. Let's see how long it takes to refill the fuel keg. I'm gonna press down on the handle and turn the purge valve and we begin now. Alright guys, when the liquid comes out like that, we release the handle, we turn the purge valve, and we are done. So as you can see guys, that filled up very quickly, very easy, much more convenient than filling up your normal Coleman Green propane tanks. I hope this video may have eased some of your concerns. Again guys, the fuel keg and the refill kit are now both sold on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. I highly, highly recommend them. And until next time guys, tight lines. And we're filling the canister with propane liquid. Now we're gonna do this until liquid propane starts shooting out of the side over here. And once we have a steady stream, not just spurting out, but once there's a steady stream of propane shooting out of the side there, that's when we're gonna stop. And we're gonna turn the valve, turn this little ring back clockwise and turn it off. And then we will be done, guys. It's been about 44 seconds so far. All right, now I see a little bit of liquid propane shooting out there. You can probably see that too, or at least hear it. <laughs> 